Asyanati Asyanati Jana Gana Jala Kaya Chakshu Militam Yena Asmai Shri Yudhve Namaha Shri Itanya Sthapitam Yena Udhve ಸಾಗರಜಾತಂಸಾಘಣಾರಘುನಾಥವಿಥಂ ಸಾಧುವೇತಂ ಸರಿಜನ ಸಹಿ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಶ್ರೀರಾಧಾಕೃಷ್ಣಪಾದ ಸಹ ಗಣಲಿತ ಶ್ರೀವಿತ ದೀನಬಂಧು ಜಗತ್ಪತೆ ಗೋಪೇಶ ಗೋಪೇಶೌರಾಧಾಕಾಂತೀಭ್ಯ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೆಭ್ಯೋ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮೋ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪೃಷ್ಠಾ ಭೂತಲೆ ಶ್ರೀಮತೈ ಭಕ್ತಿ ವೇದಾಂತ ಸ್ವಾಮೀ ನಾಮಿನೆ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ದೇವೈ ಗೌರವಾಣಿ ಪ್ರಚಾರಿಣೆ ನಿರ್ವಿಶೇಷಿ ಪಾಶ್ಚಾತ್ಯ ಜೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾಧಾರ ಶ್ರೀವಾಸಿ ಗೌರ ಭಕ್ತವೃಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕರಕಮಲ ಕರೆ 
Jaya Jaya Prabhu Prabhu Jaya Jaya Prabhu Jaya Jaya Guru De Guru De Guru De Jaya Jaya Guru De Hari Bol 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 Hari Nitai Gauri Thank you so much, Jai. It was very nice of you to take us to Nasimadev's house. Thank you, Jai. All right, okay, let's move on. Adi, would you like to do Hare Krishna Mahamantra, please? Okay, Prabhuji. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Hare Rama One more time please Adi Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Hare Hari Rama, 
Thank you, Art. Thank you so much. Devesh and David. What? One of you would like to do Hare Krishna Mahamantra three times, please. Nice. Yes, please. That's Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Rama Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Hare Rama Hare Rama 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 Now your turn Devesh Hare Krishna Krishna Mahare Ai Devesh, you're not Krishna Hare Krishna Hare Hare Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Thank you Devesh and thank you Devi. Thank you so much for leading Hare Krishna Mahama. Great. Okay. Before we move on to the lesson, anybody would like to do it? Adi did it. Devesh and Devika did it. Jai did it. Can I do one in the end? Sure. Jai, go for it, please. Oh, right now. Oh, you would like to do it at the end? Um, yeah. If there's nobody to sing, I can do it right now. Haribo. Well, okay. How about we start the lesson and we will do right at the end? Okay. Okay. Haribo. Thank you so much. Okay. Yes, yeah. Because it's already 36 past. Right. Members. Okay, let me just take the slide sharing away. Let me stop that. All right. Who remembers Bhagavad Gita? Which chapter we are on? Anybody? We are on chapter five, Prabhuji. Haribo. Very nice. Tell you what, Adi, if you wouldn't remi remind me, I will forget. Thank you so much for being there. We need somebody who could remind me. Okay, I can do it for the teacher. Thank you so much, Abhi. Okay. Now, anybody remembers the name of Chapter 5? What was the name of Chapter 5? Or what is the name of Chapter 5? Chapter 5 is coming now. Chapter 5, Chapter 3, and we did a bit of that in weekdays so for the benefit of everyone. Like um, Avi, Oja, and Devesh and Devika, who usually join during the weekend. Just to find Chapter 3, so Chapter 1 is the observation of the army in the battlefield. Chapter 2 is the summary of Bhagavad Gita. Chapter 3 is karma. Karma is action. So Krishna explains what kind of action we should do. And Krishna explains three different kinds of actions. Anybody remembers three different kinds of actions? 
Okay, one is negative, one is neutral, and one is positive. That's easy to remember. But there are names, there are specific names which might not be that easy to remember by now. Considering you all are so young and you can remember very well. So the negative karma, the karma which we are not supposed to do is called V karma. V, V for Varun, V for Victor. V karma is the one we should not do. Then we have a, we have Sa karma. Sa karma is neutral, which is better than Vikarma, but it's not as good as a karma. So V karma, Sa karma, and a karma. Va, Sa, and A. If you remember that, then negative, neutral, and positive. Now, Krishna explains all that in chapter 3. Moving to chapter 4, Krishna explains about the transcendental knowledge. Then Krishna says, well, Arjun actually gets confused. Arjun says in chapter 3, Krishna, you explain me what kind of karma it is. I should do the action. And in chapter 4, you explain me all about jnana, all about knowledge. So should I take the knowledge or should I do the karma? It's like, should I always be a student and study hard in the university or should I go out in the industry and work? And Krishna says, Arjun, you are confused for sure. Because I don't understand why you think you, you can only do one. You are actually supposed to do both. Which means you should do the karma. But with knowledge I am giving you. And that's what Krishna is explaining in chapter 5. Do karma. But with knowledge of Krishna consciousness. And what is Krishna consciousness? Consciousness is what's is our mind when we do something for example we are sitting in the class in the school and we are thinking about the new video game daddy or mama has bought for us or maybe before the lunch what mama has packed in the lunch maybe your favorite thing and you're thinking oh this lecture is so boring as soon as this lecture will get over i will eat what my mother made for me at lunch time so your consciousness was there. Your body was there in that lecture, in that class, in the school. Your consciousness, your mind was there in that video game or in that lunch box. Now, Krishna is saying, whatever you do, your consciousness, your mind should be thinking about Krishna. And how can we think about it? How can we do things like that? That's what Krishna is explaining. Prabhuji. Yes, please. Jai. I just got a message that says the meeting will end for all participants in five minutes. Very, very well observant. Thank you so much, Jai. I just noticed that message. So everyone, we are going to be kicked out of this meeting within five minutes. Huh? Prabhuji. Yes, please, Adi. The world will be to the end in five minutes. Meeting will end in five minutes. It's something new WebEx has introduced. Initially, you want to Prabhuji. We, we, we can go out and we can come back, Abhi. Yes, please, Divesh. That's what I was asking. Can you start the meeting again then? Yes. Yeah, we can always come back. Yes. All the people who would like to come back, I will be here waiting for you. So it will be really good. And somebody just joined. And this is our own Rohan. Rohan, you have joined at a very good time because we are going to go out very soon. And just to say, you can always come back, okay, because we got the message of five minutes. But I know Rohan was busy somewhere else. All right, okay, so this is what Krishna is going to explain in chapter five, that Arjun, doesn't matter what kind of karma you do, what I've explained in chapter three, have the knowledge of me, what I've explained in chapter four. So, Chapter 3 and Chapter 4, Krishna is going to combine together in Chapter 5. Can you see that it will end in 5 minutes? It's hard to read that. We have the date behind it. Okay. Right. Divay. Okay. Alright, Divay said something. I'm not really sure. 
if I could hear all that, I think the, the voice was breaking, but the did mention about five minutes. So yes, we will come back once we will disconnect and you will get the message that we will disconnect. Oh, can you remove that from the screen? Oh, sorry, sorry, I got your point, yes. My apologies, yes, I got you. I can move that slide, yes. Okay, great. So this is the connection. Well, I didn't realize you were reading to it, which is very good, which is really good. These are some of the slides which Arin has put together. And uh, to be honest, I'm not reading it, but it's really good to read it. But yeah, this is what we just said, that Arjun, uh, not Arjun, Arjun is also confused, I guess. But Arjun is confused. Okay, Devesh, you said something? Tabuti, what is Janaka? Okay, what, what is, the way it's written, it's, uh, we read, it's actually in Sanskrit. The way we read it, it's called Jnana. That Ja, ja the way we read, it's not Jnana, it's... Knowledge. Jnana is for knowledge, yes. So that's how we, mostly if you see some people write in as G Y. But uh, if we translate from Sanskrit to English, then it becomes J. And the way we pronounce it is Jnana. And you're right, Jnana is knowledge. So Jnana is knowledge, which is in chapter four. Karma is actions, that's in chapter three. And Arjun is asking, what should I follow? Chapter three or chapter four? And in chapter five, Krishna is explaining, Arjun, don't be confused. You need to follow both. How do you need to follow both? I'm going to explain you in this chapter. So we have seen this, where I'm going to flip through. These are the sections we will go through. And I did mention there are three different types of karma, three different types of action. And I will keep reminding you because this is one of the best things. Well, there are many good things, but there are a few top bits which you need to remember from Bhagavad Gita. And this is one of them. What? N A Y Nishkam Karma Yoga. What is Nishkam Karma Yoga? Anybody would like to explain in your own words? Yes, I know, Prabhuji. Please, Adi. Nishkam stands for. I know, Prabhuji. Okay. So he can do it. He can do it first. All right. Okay. Thank you, Adi. Very nice. Okay, Devesh, did you say you would like to say? Selfless motive. Very nice. Yes. Adi, would you like to add something to it? Huh? You would like to add something to it? What is the end? Don't go in Zoom. Don't go to Zoom. A bit. No, do you know why? Why? You can you know a last time. When I was doing Zoom with my friends, yes, it wasn't. He couldn't see. Ah, uh, okay. All right. Okay. Uh, Thank you. Yes, Rohan, please. Uh, my dad uh used Zoom for one session. Yes. But it didn't work out because we had to do uh half an hour slots, like half an hour for one time, and we had to rejoin again for half an hour. This is yeah. only staying for forty-five minutes. Okay. That. Yeah. Yeah. So like. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, the thing is, we have a paid version of Zoom that we can use, and that will go for well as long as we want. To be honest. What about Google Meet? We can uh, try. No. Yes, we can do Google Meet. We, we can try. Oh, no, we can try. <laughs> okay. All right. We will see. No, what I was saying that we we do have a paid version of uh, Zoom which we can use if in case we need to. And G. Yes, please. Um, Google, uh, how much time yeah. you want? Uh, was it day? Yeah, so how much, of, how much of time you want to Google Meet is free? All right, okay. How much do you go on Google Meet? Google Meet is free. Okay, great. We will try Google Meet. We do the recording as well because some guys, they cannot join. Um, yeah, you can record on the Google, Google Meet. Meet. Fantastic. Prabhuji. Okay. Orange, we will try Google Meet. Prabhuji. Nice. Okay, good. Yes, please, Adi. So, so, 
Yes, start. yes. Sorry, I thought you were saying something else. Okay, let's go for it then. We have a few minutes and I will try to summarize it and we will carry okay. forward. We yes, started please. the briefing again, so we can we have a lot of time now. Yeah, yes, well we have we have a lot of time, but we usually we do the session for an hour. So when we are, we have just come back, we have maybe another 10, 15 minutes, I guess. Let me just check the time. Yeah, roughly 10 minutes. So let's get for, and uh, so NKY, Nishkam Karma Yoga. That's right. Any karma we do when we don't expect anything back, that's Nishkam Karma Yoga. When you help someone and you don't expect anything in back, that's what we call Nishkam Karma Yoga. I just, I just forgot. I'm supposed to ask the question. Okay, sure, Adi. If you could, if you could come a bit nearer to the mic, so your voice will come a bit louder, please. Okay, probably. Much better. Thank you. Yes, go on, please. What's the question, Adi? What is this from Karma Yoga? You asked. Remember? Yes. Sorry. Would you like to answer it? Yes. This from Karma Yoga means you ask. Somebody do something for you. Mm -hmm. well, you have done something for something for the elf. Somebody asks something for you to okay. do. Yeah. Then you do it and ask for something. Like, when you don't ask for something, you yeah nish kam yeah nish kam kam is a desire. Nish is no. When you don't have any desire to get anything back. So, for example, another colleague, friend of yours in the school will ask for something. He will say, could you please give that pencil to me? And you will say, okay, here we go. You give the pencil, but you will not expect anything in back. Maybe next time when you need the... Sharpener, and then the person will not give the sharpener. You say, well, well, I gave you the pencil when you needed it. But you have a G? Yes, please, Jay. So if if you um, don't ask them, then if they're kind, they'll automatically tell you to take it if you don't have it. Yes, very nice. But if they're not kind, they'll just not let you have it. True. So as the devotees, we don't expect. But yes, Krishna, later we will see, Krishna will tell us in Bhagavad Gita that I always take care of devotees. And that's so true. Think about it. There are, there are so many elephants. And elephants, they eat so much, you know, this, during this time, a lot of people, they, they get fired and then they worry, they get stressed. Oh, what will happen to me? How will I feed my family? But what Krishna said, you don't need to worry. You don't. And that doesn't mean that you should not look for the new job. You should, but you should not get worried. Because all those elephants, what happened to those elephants? Who feed them? Krishna arranges. But that does not mean that we will not do our responsibility. If you are a student, your responsibility is to study hard, right? To get the knowledge. And then when you will get into a job or you will start your own business, then give your best. Give your best. But again, you will do Nishkam Karma Yoga. We all are supposed to do Nishkam Karma Yoga. Yes? And we will see more examples of it. So what Krishna will say? Krishna says that Nishkam Karma Yoga is equal to but easier than Jnana. Jnana is when you study, study, meditate, meditate. And karma, when you do the work, but you keep Krishna in your mind. And this is what Krishna explains. And we have seen this renunciation. We don't need to. Arjun says, should we renounce the work? And Krishna says, no, do not renounce the work. Renounce the desire of the fruits of the work. Or renounce the fruits of the work. Or the desire of the fruits. Because the fruits will come for sure. Which means, if you will, if you will sow down a seed in the garden, 
then definitely the tree will come out. On the tree, the fruits or flowers will come out. But you should not expect anything. If you will expect and it will not come, then we will get sad. Why I did so much hard work? Why I didn't get the fruits? And if the fruits will come back, you will get the false ego. Oh, look at that. I worked so hard. And because of my hard work, because of my intelligence, I got these fruits, I got these flowers. But no, if we don't get anything, we say, okay, whatever Krishna desires, we must have done something wrong. And if we get it, thank you, Krishna. There are so many people who are working hard, but you have given the fruits to us. Thank you so much. This way, whatever happens, we always keep Krishna. Right? And that's what... Uh, Krishna is saying to Arjun, then the goal is the same. Remember that. We just need to detach it. And we have done these verses. And we have done these verses. And here Krishna says in the text 3 of chapter 5, do not hate, do not desire. Which means never hate someone. Don't say, oh, he's a devotee. He's a better than that person. No, because in Krishna's eyes, they all are devotees. Somebody becomes devotee for their own good. Yes. However, Krishna will say that devotee is much more dearer to me. Right? But Krishna will also says that I do not take anybody's sight. I am impartial. Like I'm a football umpire. Umpire. Yeah. And maybe one team belongs to me. I like the I like one team. I like blue team or red team. But when I need to take the decision, I'm not going to be impartial. Well, I'm not going to be partial because I'm impartial, which means I'm not going to give a side. I'm not, I, I won't do, okay, this person made, this team made these things, these bad things, with what we call fouls, and I will not count them. I will count them. Why? Because everybody is going to get the fruits of their karma. But those who will not desire the fruits, they are the one who is not going to get bounded by the fruits. Otherwise, if you will keep thinking about the fruits, the two things will happen. Either we will say, oh, I don't want the, I did something wrong, but I don't want the fruits of that wrong thing because we know it's going to be wrong. Yeah. For example, we are children and we do something bad. And then we say, mama, no. When daddy will come from office, please don't tell him. Please don't tell him. Right? This happens a lot of times. And if we do something good and we get it, then we feel proud. And that's called false ego. So either ways, we would like to give it to Krishna. We would like to think about Krishna now. Karma and Jnana, they are not two separate paths. They are the two rungs of the same ladder. Which means either you go, you do karma, then you do jnana or you do jnana and then you karma, you, you get on the same path, which means you will study hard, you will meditate and you will do the actions. It's not that you will do one and not other. You will do both. We are supposed to do both and that's what Krishna is saying. And then Krishna is saying in the conclusion in text 4 and 5, detachment. What is detachment? Detachment is when you are not getting attached to things. What does that mean? For example, you have five pencils and maybe your sister needs the pencil. What do you do? You say, no, these are my pencil. I'm not going to share my pencil. When daddy bought 10 pencils, gave five to me and five to her. She lost her or she has broken her pencils. I'm not going to share mine. This is what we call we are attached to pencil. No, what are pencils for? Pencils are for for to use by students and if somebody else needs it we should share with others like what Jai said if you are kind others will share with you and when others need we will share with others and this way people will understand the importance and significance of kindness and devotees are always kind always kind always ready to share things because we know we see everybody as the devotee and that's why. Oh, yes, please, Jay. If your sister needs a pencil, you're only using one pencil, and there are four remaining, so you can give somebody else the one of the remaining. Very nice, very nice. Thank you, Jay. 
Yes, that's a very nice thing you said. But a lot of times, a lot of times, we have more than what we need. A lot more than what we need. But what do we do? We don't share with others. We should. So thank you for reminding us. Okay, I've just noticed it's seven o'clock. Well, it has just gone more than seven. So I will just stop on this X6 because from seven to 12, it's the next theme. Or oh, Diana doesn't mean that you should not take action. We should always be busy doing action. If you see on the slide, you see ants. Ants are probably the most hardworking, busy creatures. They're always busy. And see how small they are. They're always running around, doing some work. So what, what Krishna is saying, that we should be busy. Yes, please, Adi. What work, Prabhuji? What work did you? Well, that's the thing. These ants might be doing work for themselves. They might be doing work for their relatives. They might be doing work for their cousins. Might be doing Prabhuji? society. Yes, please, Jack. All the ants work for each other because they live in a tree and they yes. collect leaves and get it back to the tree. So everybody that every ant that lives in a tree can get enough food. Very nice. Yes, there we go. So yeah, like we were saying, work for each other, work for the society, for the betterment of the society. If the society will get better, then the place where we live will get better. And everybody will get benefit out of it. Prabhuji? Yes, please. Jai. In, um, when it's not winter, ants go together, all of them, and they collect leaves for the winter because they don't want to go out. Yes, you're right. Because one... One ant could not lift it, but when five, six, ten ants will go, they can pick the big leaf, the leaf which is much, much, much bigger for one or two. So that's again the teamwork. And then what they do, as uh, Jay explained, they keep that for the winter because in winter it's going to be very cold, especially where we live in London. So they have more than they need for now. They only use a little bit now and they store the, the rest of it for the winter. True, very true. Yes, that's true. It doesn't matter if you have a plan in case, because we do have a plan. We keep some emergency, we keep some for maybe for tomorrow, day after tomorrow. But yes, at the same time, we should always remember that if Krishna has given us not more than what we need, we should always share with others. And that could be the time we have, that could be the physical strength we have, that could be the money we have, that could be the place we have. Somebody might have an extra room and you can say, okay, how about if I will make that room as a temple? So whatever Krishna has given to us, we should use that in the service of Krishna. Okay, good. Hey, Krishna. Hare Krishna. All right. So just because Jai said it, Jay, would you like to do Hare Krishna mantra, please? Hare Krishna. 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 Yes, sure, Jay. Please go on. Do it, please. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna, Hare 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 
Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna. Thank you. Are you going to do more class after the Prabhuji? Are you going to do more class after the party? Wow, really. You are very hard working, Devesh. You and Devika. I wish you good luck. Take good care of your eyes. These days we're spending a lot of time on the computers. So take some rest. And my apologies, we have gone a bit over. And I will try to figure that Google Meet. Otherwise, the Zoom is always a backup. But we will see. We will try Google Meet. So we will not have to disconnect in between. Okay. But it's always good, as always, to see you all. Thank you, everyone. And I look forward to see you tomorrow, whoever could join, at 3 p.m. Hare Krishna, everyone. Take care of yourself. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna.